Yo, 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 what is up? Happy birthday, everyone. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. If you didn't know, today is my 25th birthday, and I, I can't believe it. It feels weird. Oh, I know most of my friends my age don't really feel this way. I don't know whatever to think. I don't really know what to think. It's just another number. At the same time, I feel the same exact as the way I did yesterday, but at the same time, I'm like, 25 doesn't sound right, but at the same time, I'm like, it does sound right. I've been here a long time, and it's, I mean, it's just been counting. It's pretty easy to follow. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. I wanted to talk about this idea I had about ideas and thoughts and everything you want to focus on in your life. I'm all about optimizing my life. That's what this podcast, I think I keep saying that every freaking episode, but basically I have all these ideas I want to share because when I share, I get feedback and my friends give me advice and I feel like it's just helping me grow. So I just love growing and growth and the earth and symbiosis and uh, what's that word? Photosynthesis, you know, because I love the sun. I wish I was a plant, just green, All right. Um, So basically what I was thinking about is whenever I have an idea or anything about any aspect of my life, it really helps when I just talk about it. And I realized recently that I've been writing a lot of it down because I know that's a good skill when I've learned from a lot of different people who are like things I listen to in podcasts or just anybody I talk to. Uh, They have just like people that are successful in getting things done, I guess. It sounds so cliche. But I think you know what I mean. It's just like they're writing things down and they're organized and it just sounds like something so trivial and so that you know to do but you never do it. And I kind of wanted to give my take on it, why I've been writing down like everything I need to do and trying to stay as organized as possible because even when I'm saying it right now, it doesn't come off as the way I'm sounding as the way it affects me, the way I write things down. So maybe it'll help you or just kind of give you more insight and get you – Uh, doing things to help yourself because I think that's the key I want to hit on is that I notice that a lot of times when I have a thought, for example, um, I wonder why this part of my body sore, for example, or um, what do I like about what, why am I in the mood like to make something funny or make a podcast? Why am I in this mood? Or I try to want to, I try to explore my mindset or different things I'm feeling or ways I want to improve. Like maybe like, for example, if I want something in my diet, like how does – am I eating enough? Like the other day I was like I'm having low energy multi, a lot of times in a row. Like I'll have a good day jumping but then a lot of uh, parts will come up where I just – or days will come up where I just feel low energy even though I slept great. I worked out great and I it came to realize I may not be eating enough calories because I've like – I heard some of my friends were eating a ton. I forget what sparked it or like what made me think of calories, just plain calories. But I realized I don't really eat that much on my off days because I don't want to overeat. But I feel loose and great, but I just have like no energy. And I think that was the only thing. So I kind of looked up basic calories and it just seemed like I was eating a lot less. But that's for another podcast. But the point is... I wrote down that idea to count my calories, not really count them like in a day, just see how many I'm doing, more just do the research and try to figure out what my body needs and what my output is and how many things I'm burning. I'm getting getting off track, but the point is uh, I wrote down that idea and before that I was kind of speaking about it. I don't think it was about that idea, but just in speaking about it and thinking about it and as I keep thinking... Um, I'm like thinking about these different things and trying to get to the bottom of them. And then I realize when I like speak them out loud is one way if I'm like talking with somebody like, what do you eat? What do you do? Um, And I kind of as I'm speaking or I'm asking questions, I'm kind of getting to the bottom of it. Like that's probably why I came to the conclusion I wasn't eating much or that I started to think about my calories because I was talking about it. And my whole point is that when I write things down, like – Before I got to the conclusion I want to count my calories, when I write things down, it's as as effective as it is when I talk to somebody about something. And the whole point of the two is that by talking to somebody is when I always get insights, not because they know something I don't, but because verbalizing it and speaking about things and constantly thinking. And uh, I think thinking is another one too, but the point of writing it and speaking it is it kind of brings it to life and the idea gets to the bottom of it. If I just think about it, I'm not trying to explain it to someone else or I'm not trying to explain it to myself. Kind of like I'm doing now with these podcasts, which I think are great, which is what I'm doing exactly in this moment. 
I was trying to think about what I wanted to say on this podcast, but it was hard to put into thoughts. I just had to kind of speak about it and uh, try to explain it to everybody who's listening, and that kind of brought it full circle. So I don't know if I completely lost you, but I'm going to try to freaking bring it back into the f- atmosphere because I, I left, definitely went to freaking stratosphere where nobody can survive. I don't even know if that's accurate. Point is, by speaking to someone, if you have an idea or you have a question or you're trying to figure out something, I think by, I like to find the root of it, the cause of it. Say I'm inflexible, I'm trying to figure out why I'm not, I can't get flexible or my diet or why I'm in this mood or why some days I feel energy when I barely slept or vice versa or um, any type of creative mood, like sometimes I'm in a really good mood to write, sometimes I write lyrics, I like to rap and things like that, or sometimes I'm really in the mood to speak about podcasting, or sometimes I'm really in the mood to edit, or sometimes I'm in the mood to just really relax and I really don't feel like doing anything. Any type of idea or anything like that, it helps to try to question it and talk to other people and see how they feel. And when you try to explain your feelings and your emotion and your mindset, that's when you learn that's the point of this is that it's hard to explain but basically when you try to speak it and you put it into words by trying to explain it to someone else or by write, when you write it you're trying to explain it to yourself so you can read it again later I feel like the process of trying to explain something helps you get to the answer that you're looking for that kind of sums it up I don't know if I did a good job I tried to give some examples of what I was trying to say but to give some more, uh, what's it called, to make it relatable and to also make it make more sense. Because just the words alone don't really give enough context to what it feels like when you make that little breakthrough. But I guess the whole point of it is just when you try to put it, yeah, I said it already. What am I going to do? I, I don't even know about this one. But yeah, uh, it's really helpful for me. I've been writing things down. I'm trying to stay more organized in my notes. I use a lot of notes that on my phone. Like I have a lot of different sections for podcasts or dunking or videos or just life in general. Uh, diet. I try to make folders and then all those folders have like branches and things like that. And it's just helpful so that way as soon as I have an idea, I have it put it right in the right spot. And I don't really have to think about uh, – just jotting it down because what happened was over time I would just jot ideas down and then I couldn't find the ideas and even if I did they weren't uh, they were like far back because I haven't written them in a while so now it's like when they're organized you could find a folder find the topic you're talking about and just help yourself improve on anything you're trying to achieve and writing it down also lets you map it out it's like when I write something down I'll write down some of the points and then I could kind of come back to it at another time. That, I think that's one of the big keys about writing things down. Um, so we got through the point. I think I'm kind of figuring out what I'm trying to talk about here. This is like, I don't even know. This is kind of just like all thoughts. Thought, what's the word? I forget that saying. I don't know. This is just like blabbering. But the point is, speaking really helps me uh, get some ideas, but the writing helps me when I, uh, I'm trying to execute them as well. So maybe that's part of it as well. But just anything I'm trying to do at any time, when I write it down, I can come back to it later. I can uh, test things out. I could kind of see if I'm in another mood at another time to try to expand on an idea. So, for example, if I have a funny video idea and I say, like, oh, I want to have a few shots that uh, really tell the story. And I'm like, what are those exact shots? So when I go to do the shoot, I could try to knock them out and I don't forget anything because in the moment I might forget some certain things and then I'll write as many as I can down and then maybe come back at it later and see if I'm in a different mood and I still can't and I can come up with other ideas that I I wouldn't have thought of the first time and it's hard to do that without writing there's it's not really another or writing down that idea and organizing there's not really another method that lets you keep adding to it without missing any pieces. I think it just lets you tell the whole story of whatever idea or thing you're trying to execute. I am rambling. This is the rambling, most ramble, ramblicious podcast yet. Anywho, um, hold on, the train's coming. Let me pause this. 
Okay, so anyway, um, I had a lot of conversations with my friends, especially for my birthday. A lot of my friends called me because I have the best friends. And a few of them, uh, we had some conversations in the past where we just talk about what we're trying to do with our lives and different things. It sounds so like, what's the word? I don't even know. It just sounds so like, like nothing, like I'm saying nothing, <laughs> like just what we want to do with our lives. But more on that, it's just like what we're trying to accomplish because we're at this age where we're figuring out what we like to do or what we don't like to do and just trying to pursue something. We're just trying to find a goal that we can enjoy and we're all on different paths and we try to stay in touch and help each other just because by helping each other helps ourselves and like just one big unit. So I had those conversations and I I, we were just on the phone spontaneous and they turned into really good ideas and different things like that. So probably going to try to turn those into podcasts, which is great. So uh, look, look out for that because I have a lot of different friends from different areas. Like my other friend was doing some financial work and he's, doing, he's getting really successful with that. And I wanted to talk to him more about that because I have no idea about that field. So it's really good for me. And I'm just trying to improve in all aspects, uh, live the life that makes me the happiest and that is pretty much it there was something else i was going to say if you made it this far i hope that makes sense try to write things down try to figure out what you want to do like that's the thing from the very base of it if you have no clue what you want to do for the next day for the next year whatever it is write down that question and try to come back to it that's what's the great thing about writing if you just if you just think about it once you're never going to get to the bottom of it because you may, you may not, um, it's just like anything else that you're trying to accomplish. You have to try and push yourself a little bit to kind of like train that part of your brain. But if you're just thinking about it and you're not really asking or speaking to somebody or writing things down, I don't think you're going to make as much progress as you can be. So if you have any goals, it sounds so cliche, but write them down because then When you read them, you'll be reminded that's your goal and then you can write some notes of how you can – you can start writing how you're going to do it. And then when you write how you're going to do it, you can break down each step and that's the power of writing to me. God, I sound disgusting. (laughs) Okay, but basically that's the point is people – I don't feel like people explain fully what the purpose of the writing is. Like people say write this down write down notes, take notes on this. And I say it to my friends too because I know it's helped me. But I think the when you just say like set goals and write them down, people think like, oh, I'm just trying to write it down. Like it's the act of writing is going to make me achieve my goals. But it's not that. I think you go further and you write them down so that way you can actually write down a plan that actually works. Because if you have just a goal in mind and no plan of action, it's going to be almost impossible Unless you're just like extremely organized in your head, which is so hard to do because you think about so many things through the day. Like I'm thinking about staying healthy and what meals I'm going to eat and being on time and making sure I have things ready for tomorrow as well as tonight as well as just before I just finish doing something on time so it's ready for the next hour just in case my videos are rendering and I need to also have food heating up and at the same time walk the dog and a million different things at once. So you're not going to remember to set a plan for your friggin' goals. I think I'm friggin' done. I don't fuck. I'm not going to curse. Weirdest podcast yet. Definitely more of these type coming when I just uh, let my mind open up and just let it spill out into the friggin' microphone. Oh, I'm probably going to get a better microphone for my phone because I'm just recording with my phone. And I know it sounds decent, but I want it to sound better. This is like a 15-minute birthday boomer. That was lame. I can't think of anything. I think I'm tired because I can't think on my toes very well. But uh, I hope this is enjoyable. I really don't believe anybody's going to get this far (laughs) in this one because I just rambled in circles forever. But I hope it's helpful in the end. I think I got to some points, and that's kind of what happens in these podcasts. So if you don't know and you skip to the end, there's some gems in the middle there, I'm telling you. (laughs) There was a couple gems in the rough, diamonds in the rough, diamonds in the rough. I was going to come. See, nothing. My brain is tired. I traveled back home today. I don't know where I'm going with this, but the point is my brain's tired. And I know that because I can't think at all. Like all my analogies are terrible. My freaking uh, cleverness is non-existent. I have no witty remarks about wordplay. (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm just making myself laugh now. Okay, that's about it. 15 minutes is a solid potty. That potty's not like a potty podcast, you know, P-O-D-D-Y. All right, I'm out. That's it. If you like this, throw some stars on it. Throw some stars on it. All right. Yeah, my brain's at that level. I can't believe this. Okay. Um, I hope someone got this far. If you did get this far, I would love to know. Throw some stars. Show me some feedback. Tell me what you want to know about. Tell me if you need help with uh, anything. Like, I can give any help. I'm just saying, like, what helped has helped me. That's all I'm trying to do with Dunk Life, Life Life. Did I say that in another podcast? Oh, my God. If that's my little catchphrase. Okay. I'm cutting it. My brain is deteriorating as we speak. Good night. Good day. Let's get it. Life. Steve out.